Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Thank you for tuning in on this lovely, beautiful morning. Um, maybe you've all completed Turkey Trot since watching or since watching this. And now that you know Thanksgiving is officially here, the next thing that happens is picking your Christmas tree. So I'm gonna tell y'all a couple of Christmas tree farms and lots to pick out your perfect Christmas tree for the year. Um, and we will start in Murfreesboro. They've got the Country Crow Christmas Tree Farm. They have Christmas trees, they have wreaths, they have greenery if you wanna use, like, uh, use it for garland. They also offer free hot chocolate and apple cider and a hayride around the farm. So that's awesome. Um, and then in Woodbury, there is a small family owned uh, Christmas tree farm that's been operating for 14 years now. Um, and they offer the pre-cut trees. You can choose your own tree and cut it down. Um, and then they have a wide variety of trees to choose from. Uh, so just make sure you check up. We will have this posted, but check all the sites to keep up to date with uh, their schedules. Um, in Franklin, we have the Pinewood Christmas Tree Farm that's going to be off of South Harford Road. Uh, if you're from the area, you're probably very familiar with it. But they're in their fourth year of Chris offering Christmas trees, and all of theirs are going to be pre-cut um, just because they are so new that it takes a while to grow a Christmas tree if you were not aware. Um, but they will also be offering hot chocolate and s'mores complimentary, which is Honestly, you should get anyone out there to cook. No, for sure. You, you, you had me on the first one with Hayride and, and Hot Chocolate. I'm like, okay. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, you got to start in coming in hot, right? Yeah, yeah. So have you, is your family, uh, like, cut your own? Have you ever, like, our, our family, uh, we've had live trees, but I've never actually taken an X. Um, no. So we have cut our own, but everywhere that we've gone, um, they cut it for us just because we don't trust ourselves with um, axe wielding. <laughs> so... I feel like I would Griswold it and uh, it, good intentions, right. bad effort. I feel like that, that's exactly. <laughs> and that is just how we are. So we're like, you know what? If you're going to offer it, go for it. <laughs> now, um, I normally ask a lot of questions that are pop culture or lifestyle, but since it's Thanksgiving, I just want to know what are you thankful for this year? What am I thankful for? Oh, there's so much to be thankful for this year. Um, Which is a good problem. Yeah, it's a great problem, right? Uh, I guess I'm just thankful for, you know, to have the ability to like be here, I guess, you know, a lot of people don't have that opportunity and to be with their loved ones. And so I'm very grateful that I get to be here with my loved ones this year. That's a good one. Yeah. I yeah. accept that. Yeah. I can't plus it any more than it already is plused. Exactly. So it's a Disney term to plus something, by the way. Disney plus. Oh. I'm gonna have to use that now. I've never heard that, it. You know what? I never even put together like when they plus a ride. I never even put together that Disney Plus was named because that's what they do to enhance. They plus it. Oh. I never even thought about their app is streaming enhanced. Is it? Wow. Now I'm gonna be thinking about this for the next. Yeah, I'm gonna be thinking about this for the next like 30 minutes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, you know what? Thank you because it came up in conversation. Yeah, it did. It did. Now I'm gonna go back and have some more thirds and fourths with our food. Okay. Honestly, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have a wonderful rest of the Me holiday too. weekend, and I look forward to talking to you again next week. Yeah, of course. Happy Thanksgiving, guys.